Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. Today I have, what month is this? November. So, I've got November's Foxy Charms. So, we're going to see what goodies we got this month. I know it's the end of the month. Um, my boxes came really late this month. I'm not sure why. So, I'm just now getting to do the video, but... I've got the base box and I've also got, I've got the base box and the premium box. So let's go ahead and see what we got in our base box. Ah! So the theme, ooh, is harvest. It looks really pretty. Okay, and then as always, we have our info on the back with everything in the box. I also see a Natasha Denona 25% off code in here so I'm wondering if I got something from her I have never tried anything from that brand so it's exciting I know that's like a higher-end brand okay so up first Yensa pumpkin turmeric two-in-one radiance polishing mask and eight super orange essence that's a lot okay so it's got like a ton of um, good things in it for you over here on the side you can see like the pumpkin and all the different little veggies and things superfoods I guess it's just like an exfoliating mask that you use my kids are screaming in the background so they're with their daddy but um this is what it looks like it looks really big actually so let's smell it okay it definitely has like a spicy smell I like the smell of it. It has like almost like a spicy, a little bit of a pumpkin, but it just smells really spicy. I'll have to try this out. I am kind of, I am kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Weary? Is weary the word? I think weary is the word I'm looking for, but I'm kind of like iffy on some skincare products right now just because being pregnant, I'm not sure like what is safe and not safe to use. Um, this is like a lot of natural stuff, so I would think it's okay, but again, I might wait until after I have the baby to try out all this skincare stuff that I don't know about. <clears throat> if you miss the video, we are expecting. So, next up, Farsali. Okay, in my last box, I got a ton of Farsali stuff. Oh, I didn't. I got one, I think. Yeah, I got one thing right here. Yeah, in my last box, I got these Farsali drops. Um, actually, I think I ordered them. I didn't, like, get them in the box, but they smell so bad, I don't think I'm going to use them. Um, but this is a serum, Farsali Quench Moisture Plenishing Serum. Oh, I didn't say how much that other thing was. I'm all over the place today. My brain, pregnancy brain already is coming in strong. Okay, so the, what is this? Yensa. Ooh, so this retails for $45. Wow. Okay. All right, so. Back to this one. So this is the Farsali Breve Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. It's got vitamins and stuff in it, apparently. Hyaluronic acid, of course, everything has that now, I feel like. B5, which makes your skin's elasticity improve. That's good. This is what the bottle looks like. Their packaging is always really pretty, like glass, high-end stuff. Says apply a few drops to damp skin before creams. Use morning and night. Again, I'm not sure if it's safe to use like hyaluronic acid and stuff like that while you're pregnant. So I'm probably just going to hold off until after I have the baby to try all this stuff out. But we can look at this serum. So it's like a thick. <sighs> okay, this one has a better smell than that other stuff that I got in my last box. It just has like a fresh clean scent. Like, not really hardly a scent at all. I'm digging that scent way better than the other thing. So, I'll have to try this out again after I have the baby. 
Um, and this retails for $24. All right, the next thing I see in here, this is a milk makeup. What is this? Kush Waterproof Mascara. High volume, waterproof. Usually I'm not crazy about waterproof mascaras just because they're so hard to get off. I feel like they rip my eyelashes off when I try to take it off, but they stay put, so that's good. Maybe if it works good, I'll wear this while I'm in labor so I don't like sweat and cry all my mascara off. All right, let's see. It's like super heavy metal. Like, I thought my Too Faced one was heavy because it's metal, but this one's like even bigger. It's like bigger around, even heavier. Jeez, please. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, that looks like a good brush. And I always smell mascara, I don't know why. But look at that brush. Ooh, I feel like this is gonna work good, I hope. That retails for $24. All right, so we've got two products left in our box. So this is, I'm having a hot flash, y'all. Ooh. All of a sudden got like dizzy and super nauseous. All the joys, the joys of the first trimester. Sick. I always try to think about lemons for some reason. Like I feel like lemons always make me feel better. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So this next item is called Jekka Black, I guess. Liquid Corrector 2.0 Vegan Cruelty Free. Um, I have no idea what this is or what this brand is. So it's an under eye brightener, disguises darkness and evens out skin. Hmm. So you put it under your eyes and you can wear it alone or you can wear it before you use your concealer. And it's got like a little thing on the back. Is it pink? So this is what it looks like. I've never heard of this brand before and I don't really have crazy like dark circles under my eyes. I mean, it might be like a little bit, but I don't know. This looks like a lip gloss to me or like a, it smells like paint um, and it's kind of a pink color. Okay, that's interesting. I guess we'll have to test this out today, but this retails for $15. Okay, and then our last product, ooh, packaging's kind of weird. Um, it's not it's not exciting at all, but it's the Natasha Denona Peak 5 Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know why they choose this packaging. It looks like a like package you get in the mail. It's kind of boring, but ooh, uh, these colors are gorgeous. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, super pretty, super pretty colors. I love these warm tones. Y'all know this is right up my alley. Love. Okay, and this little clear lid, like that's so cute. Um, and on the back it's got like the different colors and what they are. So this retails for $48. Wow, for five eyeshadows, $48. I'm telling y'all, her stuff is super, super expensive. Like I think a regular eyeshadow palette that has like more than five, it's got like, I don't know, probably like 12 or 15 or something like that. It's like insane, like 80 to $100 or more, I think if I'm not mistaken, but okay, $48 for five eyeshadows. We'll definitely try those out. I'm excited to see if they work any better than the regular lower priced eyeshadows that I use, so. Uh, all right, so that was everything for base box. Um, so we got, again, two skincare products. I won't be trying these probably for a while, but We'll try these three out today. We'll do a look. All right, let's see what else we got um, in our premium box. So again, we have the same theme. So up first, I see, okay. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powders Face Palette. Um, medium Tan is the shade that they gave me. So let's see what this is about here. I do have... I think I have an eyeshadow palette from Pure, don't I? Yeah, so I do have this eyeshadow palette from Pure that I got a while back in one of my subscription boxes. Um, 
It's got really pretty colors in it. Okay, so this is, has got, oh, so it's like everything you need for your face. Wow. So, it's a cute little packaging too. So there's a, what does it say? A translucent powder, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter all in one little palette. So we have like everything we need for our face, literally, in this one little palette. That's a neat concept. They look a little dark to me. It says medium tan. I don't know the shade ranges they have, but I feel like, like a light to medium would be better for me. But we'll see. I'm always off with my colors anyways, so we'll see. Um, this retails for $32, so we'll definitely try that out. All right, up next. Oh, they gave me something else from my brand. Um, so this is the Realer Lip Liner Duo. Y'all know I'm obsessed with the Realer eyebrow pencil that I got in my box. I've already ordered like two backups, and I'm on my last one now. Like that's how fast I go through them things. So... Okay, so you get two of their lip liners. Hmm. And the shades are Be Yourself, Be Realer, and I'm Confident. Okay, so it looks like got kind of a lightish nude. That's this color. Let's swatch it. Ooh, love that color. That's a really pretty color. And then got kind of a deeper, like almost like a berryish nude. And that's that one. So that's a good fall color, maybe good for the holidays. I don't wear that color too often, but if I am going to wear it, this would be the time. So I really love the more neutral one though. Okay, so that's neat. Two lip liners. And that retails for $25. So we'll try those out and hopefully we like it. Um, so far, I've really liked everything I've tried from that brand. All right, up next, this is Dose of Colors. What is this? Jackpot. I don't know what this is. Block Party Eyeshadow in the shade Jackpot. Okay. Oh, so it's like one single little eyeshadow. It looks pretty, but it kind of looks green. It's like a greenish gold. It's a pretty holiday color, but I don't know if I'm going to really wear type of color. Let's swatch it and see what it looks like. Wow. Yeah, so it's like a green gold. Ooh, it is really pretty, though, for the holidays. Okay, maybe we'll test it out today with our other eyeshadow. I don't know how well this is going to go with this. Um, and this retails for... <coughs> I got choked, y'all. $20 for one eyeshadow. What in the world? You could buy a whole palette for that. What? Okay, $20 for an eyeshadow. That is crazy. I mean, it is really pretty and glittery, but still... I don't think I've ever tried anything from Dose of Colors. I don't know. All right. Next, we got some brushes. So these are from Cosmetics, like Medic, like Doctor. Cleansing brush and a dual-sided silicone mask applicator. Ooh, that is neat. So I guess you use, they're not like makeup brushes. They're like skincare brushes. So this one is a mask applicator and it's got like a smooth side. And then it's got like a massaging side. So you can like scrub your mask into your face. That is really neat. So there's the little texture on that one. I'm excited for this. Because that's one of the things I hate most about masks. Like I don't really like to wear masks a lot. Because I don't like to dunk my fingers in to get it out. Or like squeeze it on my hands and rub it in with my hands. Like, I feel like this would make it so much easier to, like, get in these areas around your nose. It doesn't get all up under your fingernails and everything. This is really neat. And then this one is a cleansing brush. Hmm. So, you use this with your cleanser. It's got, like, this little bumpy texture. So, you can, like, scrub your face with it really good. I love this. Okay, so this retails for... $25. Normally I wouldn't get excited over skincare stuff that much, but I do really think this is neat and I have been wanting something like that. So that's really good. Our next product, um, Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream. So I have a couple skincare things from Grown Alchemist and their stuff is like outrageously expensive. I know I have like a cleanser and it comes in a tube, like a paint, like it looks like a tube of paint, which I think is kind of cool. 
but um let's see if this one looks yeah this one looks like a tube of paint too so i like the way their stuff looks literally like you have to open the it's like closed like a tube of paint and you have to like puncture it like this the little cap okay um but like i said i have a cleanser from them and i love it i love the way it smells it's like super natural and like healthy their stuff is outrageously expensive. I think the cleanser I have is in like a two bigger than this and it was like a hundred and something dollars. I got it in a box so I didn't pay for it like that but so apparently this also has hyaluronic acid in it and it's supposed to like regenerate your skin, detox it and all this good stuff, get rid of wrinkles um, at night while you sleep. So it's like a night cream but I cannot smell it. I'm gonna put some on my finger just to smell it. Yeah so it smells Pretty much identical to the cleanser I have. Just super clean and fresh and natural. Um, so I really like the scent of their stuff. It's just outrageous. So this one night cream right here, y'all. This one night cream retails for $125. What in the world? For this, like $125? What? So... I knew I remembered their stuff is like outrageous. So again, I'll probably try this after I have the baby just to be on the safe side. All right, and then our last product in our box is the Smashbox Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. Um, I think I have, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have one of these in like a smaller size. Do I? Don't I? Do I? Yeah, so what is this? Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder. Oh no, okay, so I have this perfecting powder in this like little thing. Um, so this is more of like a foundation type of powder um, from them. I don't really use it. I've never really been a big fan of Smashbox. The only thing I've ever used that I really like from them is actually this lipstick right here. So the only thing I've ever used from Smashbox, which I know Smashbox is supposedly a great brand, um, but the only thing I've ever tried from them that I love is this lipstick. Like, this lipstick is the bomb. It stays put, but it feels good. The color is just, like, perfect. So, I've had this lipstick for a long time, and I love it. Other than that, I'm just being honest, y'all. I've tried... I've tried their eyeshadows, I've tried their primers, I've tried their foundations, just have not been a fan of any of it. So, this is a setting powder. We'll see what we think. It's supposed to like mattify and blur your skin. So the shade I got is shade 01. I don't know what that means, but hopefully it's like a light one. It's cute how it looks like a a camera lens because it's a photo finish setting powder. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It says, get fresh powder with every twist. And in here, there's another sticker. Come on now. So, this is very similar to the foundation powder that I have. Um, so basically, you twist it and it like grinds fresh powder for you, which is really neat. I don't want to dump it everywhere. So I guess we'll test this out and see what we think. And it retails for... $39. All right, y'all. That's everything we got in our boxes. So let's go ahead and test out this makeup and see what we think. Okay, so okay, so for this liquid corrector, I don't know if I should put my foundation on and then put it on. If I should put it on just directly on my skin and then just do my foundation like around it because it says apply under your eyes and it can be worn alone or under concealer. But it doesn't say anything about foundation, so I don't know. I guess I'm just going to put it directly on my skin, and we'll see what happens. Um, I'll just dye it a little bit right there. It's crazy. It's like pink. I guess if you have super dark under eye spots. Oh my gosh, I can't stand this already. It feels like greasy, and I literally have pink under eyes now. Um, I guess if you have like dark spots, this is supposed to be like a color corrector, like because it's the opposite color of like blue is orange. So if you've got dark spots on your eyes, they tend to look more like bluish. So orange would be the opposite color to like neutralize it. But I don't ever really wear stuff like this. And to be honest, I just feel like now I have pink under my eyes and I still see the darkness. So I don't know. I don't know how how I feel about this, to be honest. I don't think it'd be something I probably would use, but let's go in with a foundation. I guess today we'll just jump in with our Too Faced Born This Way Matte. 
go in with our toothpaste and see how it looks. Um, okay, to be honest, underneath the foundation, I don't really think I notice a difference from what I normally look like without that stuff. So I don't know. Maybe if you had more prominent dark spots, you'd be able to tell better. But on me, I can't really tell. So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to go in real quick with my regular Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And let's see. I really feel like once you put concealer over top of it, you're really not going to be able to tell because like the concealer already conceals it so doing it underneath I just don't really know how you would even tell whether it did anything or not okay okay so there's one eye done I feel like my under eye blah 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 my under eye looks really good um but again it looks like this I feel like normally when I use these like this foundation and concealer by themselves without that stuff so I don't really know if it made a difference or not I can't really tell I probably I probably should have done one eye with it and one eye without and seen if we could see a difference. But it's too late for that now. But yeah, I honestly really don't think it did anything. I really don't. Anyways, moving on. Now we can test out um, another one of our new products. So we did get this pure set that has a translucent powder in it right here. And then we also got the Smashbox photo finish set and powder. So I guess what I'm going to do is do one eye with one and the other. Oh my goodness. This powder was like everywhere. I guess we'll try this on one side and the other one on the other side and see what we think. Normally I just use my sponge. So I guess I'll try the Smashbox and we'll twist out a little bit. Okay. Let's go under this eye. Smashbox one. Let's see what we think. Okay, so I feel like that looks really good, but I will say it's darker. You can see how much brighter this side is without the setting powder. It's like colors a little dark for me. Normally like a brighter under eye. This definitely looks darker, um, but it doesn't look bad. It set it really well. Overall, I think it's pretty. I just think I wish it was a little more bright, but it's really natural looking. All right, let's go in with this one from Pure. This one right here. And I guess just wipe my sponge on it and see. Normally I don't use one that's like compacted like this. Usually my setting powders are loose. I got some on here, so let's see. Okay, this side looks dark too. This side is a little creaser. Creaser. Crease in a little more. I don't know about that. I just feel like it's too dark. It's not fine enough, I feel like, to set your makeup. Like a translucent powder should be super fine so that it doesn't settle in your lines and create more wrinkles. And this side definitely just looks like dried out and creasy. Y'all see this? I definitely like this one way better. So I'm not gonna put this on the rest of my face. I think what I'll do instead is I'll finish setting the makeup with the Smashbox. So like going over top of this, it's probably not going to help, but we'll see if it like balances it out a little. Okay, that looks a little brighter, a little better. I think I actually like this Smashbox setting powder. Hmm. And I love the applicator because you just twist it and more comes up. So like you don't have to sit here and tap it into the lid. It's super easy to use. I like that. Okay. Actually, I'm a fan of this. I like this stuff a lot. I like the way it comes out. Um, I feel like now that I've actually put a little more under my eyes, it definitely brightened it up. Yeah, it set my makeup really good. There's not really wrinkles or anything. Really like this. Okay, good. Glad we like that. All right, so now we're going to test out the rest of these products in our Pure Face Palette. So next we'll go in with our bronzer. So this bronzer looks very dark to me too. Again, they gave me medium tan, which maybe in the summer that might be good for me. But like I said, they look a little dark for me right now. That's like really dark brown almost. Okay, so the color actually looks super pretty. Um, the more I'm putting it on, I did think it was a little dark, but if I had a really good tan um, right now, I'm a little pale. Like I got a little bit of tanner, but it's like starting to come off and it's splotchy. So maybe like in the summer when I actually have a good tan, this would be super pretty because I love the way it looks. Like the shade, like the tone is really pretty. It's like that warm, bronzy glow that I like. Like it almost reminds me of 
the beachfront bronzer, the beachfront bronzer from Unique that is like super good. But of course, they discontinued it because they don't know what they're doing apparently. I don't know why they would get rid of it. Um, it was like my favorite bronzer ever. Um, and I don't like promote Unique or sell it or anything. Um, some of their products I really don't like, but that was one product that I was obsessed with and of course they got rid of it. This kind of reminds me of it. Like the tone is just really warm and pretty and glowy, but not sparkly. It just gives you like a, I don't know, just looks really pretty. Over here on this cheek, it's looking a little crazy, a little dark. It's a little dark, but let's go in with the same bronzer with my little flat brush and with the nose contour. Um, next we'll go in with the blush right here. It looks like a super pretty, like, corally, peachy blush, which is one of my favorite colors to use. Ooh. Yeah. And it's, like, really pigmented. Like, I barely touched it. And it was like, woo, blush. Y'all, it's a little intense. Wow. Shows up really well. Um, but the color is really pretty, I think. So, then last from this palette, we'll go into the highlight shade right here. Again, this highlight looks a little dark, but maybe it won't be. Uh, yeah, it's a little dark. It's pretty, though. I feel like if they would have given me, like, the lighter, like, the next shade lighter in this palette, it probably would have worked so much better for me. I'm not sure, like, what their shades are, but, ooh, that is really pretty. Now it's, like, showing up a little more. Ooh. Go in with my pencil brush and do down the nose, the tip of the nose. Very pretty. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick. Of course, I'm going to jump in with my Reeler pencil because I'm obsessed. Okay. I'm going to stop messing with the eyebrows, but you get the gist of it. Okay. So, up next, we've got eyeshadow to try out so we've got this natasha denona and then we got this dose of colors one single thing um for 20 dollars, which i can't get over but i'm not sure how well these would actually go together <laughs> they don't really go at all to me i really want to try this out um you can see how this looks on my hand i know it's not like on my eye but I don't know. I just feel like I really want to try this palette out. So I'm going to grab my fluffy brush and let's jump in first to this like, pinkish color. And I don't know how these are labeled. I guess this would be Amara. We're going to pop back on the wow. Super pigmented. You don't even have to hardly. Whoa. Okay. I see why these are so expensive. Literally, you like barely have to touch it and it's just there. You don't have to build it up at all. Um, it's blending out super pretty, like no work at all. Wow, that was so easy. Okay, we're just buffing this into the crease as the transition shade. That is so pretty. Yeah, so normally I have to dip in multiple times to kind of build up that transition, but not with this. This is awesome. Okay, next I think we'll go into, I guess we'll try out the orangey shade. And I'm going to pop that kind of more focused on the crease, the lower section of the crease like this. Okay. Wow. I cannot get over how pigmented these are. Like right off the bat. Like you don't have to build it up or work hard at all which is really nice like that's a super time saver not having to build these things up all right next i'm going to go into this brown shade and we're just gonna focus that on the outer corner really pretty so all right next i'm just gonna go into this pink shade and we're gonna go on the bottom lid just to tie that together y'all I am so glad I got this. Like, this might be my favorite thing I've gotten so far in my boxes. Like, obsessed. This is every color you need right here. Like, for me personally, I wouldn't even need a bigger palette. Like, this is everything I need. Um, All the shades I like. I mean, they show up so good. It is shocking to me. Like, this is shocking. Next, I'm going to go into... 
I'm going to grab this little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into this really light shade up here just to intensify my lid. I love to do like a bright lid like this sometimes. I just think it's so pretty. It just makes your eyes look bigger and pop. I used to do my makeup like this all the time. Like every day this is what I would do. Super bright nude lid and then like the warmer tones in the crease. Just like that, just to kind of intensify it a little bit. I'm going to take my pencil brush and we're going to go into this shimmery shade. And it's the only shimmer, which I like that it's the only shimmer. And it's like a light goldy light color. And we'll do the brow bone with that. And we'll do the inner corner. Super pretty. Like this palette is everything. Wow. Obsessed. Obsessed. Love. I used every single color in here. And this is like... A look that I would do every day like I love this so much highly recommend my favorite thing like this is awesome now I understand why it's so expensive it really like you really can't tell a difference and I didn't think you'd be able to but you can all right I'm just gonna jump in now with some liner this is the BH cosmetics liner and we'll pop that on top lid okay just like that just a teeny bit no crazy wings or anything just just a nice little line on top um and then for the bottom today i think we'll do just a nude waterline so i'm going to take my nude um my beige from bh cosmetics and this is their power pencil and we're just going to line that waterline just like that brighten it up all right so, we've only got like two products left to try. So, let's test out our new mascara, the Milk Kush Waterproof. Super heavy packaging and super fat um, brush, which I like. A good fat wand. I can't stand those spiky silicone ones. Y'all already know. It's working good. I feel like for some reason I'm having a hard time getting it like on my lashes. It's like it's not, I don't know. It's like I can't get it enough product out if that makes sense it's showing up good um it's working fairly good not the Too Faced but I compare everything to Too Faced because that mascara is nothing nothing works like it for me oh let me take that back the BH cosmetics one does the flower beauty one does when I tried that one it was pretty good um and then the um the Huda Beauty one actually works like it too. This one is okay. I mean, it's doing a really good job. Okay, so this is as good as I think it's getting, which I feel like they look pretty good. Just not the best, but I mean, it is really good. I will say this is almost so big. It's like hard to get in to the little areas because it's so fat. Overall, I like it. I think it did a pretty good job. Our last product to try out is our lip liners from Realer. So I think with this look, I kind of just want to do more of the neutral. Like I said, I'm not too much into this darker color. Um, sometimes for the fall, I'll do like a darker maroon look. Right now, I think this would be pretty. So this one is called I Am Confident. So we'll line the lips. Ooh, I love the way this feels. Okay, there's the liner. Really pretty. And I like the way it feels. The texture's good. Um, love. Let's see, what lip do we want to use? Let's go in with this one from Huda. This is called Prom Night, and it's a matte lipstick. I think this might be pretty with it. Mm, I feel like the liner's a little dark. I'll blend it a little with my finger. That's pretty. Okay, and then I'll finish it off. Let's see. I'll just finish it off with my MAC. Six plus. So this is our finished look. Um, I feel like it turned out really pretty, actually. I'm impressed. So um, for a recap, do not think this really did anything. Wouldn't I personally wouldn't buy it. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to use it really, but if you're someone who has issues with dark spots, maybe it works. Um, I just couldn't really tell on me. The Smashbox setting powder, I actually love. Like I feel like now that everything's done, it is really pretty. The under eyes look just really fresh and bright and just, I, I think it looks really good. Um, definitely recommend and I'm glad I finally found another product from this brand that I like. So really like this.
This Pure Face Palette, again, don't recommend the translucent one. It just was not pretty. But the rest of them, the bronzer, blush, and highlight, I think turned out actually really pretty. So it's a little dark for me, like I said. Maybe like a light to medium would have been better than medium tan for me. But they worked really good. They showed up really pretty. So, and the tone was like gorgeous. Just, I need a little more of a tan to use them, I think. This Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, y'all, like you would not think five eyeshadows would be this impressive, but like five eyeshadows for $48, you would be like, no. But I'm telling y'all, I am here to tell y'all, this is amazing. Now that I have tried this out, I would definitely pay $45 for this. And this is like the perfect palette for me. I used every single color. It's just what I needed. Nothing more, nothing less. And I feel like the look is so pretty. Like just a really pretty everyday eyeshadow look. Love it so much. Um, and they just, they worked better than pretty much any eyeshadow I've ever tried ever. So I get it now. Completely get it. This dose of colors looks really pretty. Just doesn't fit with the look I was going with today. It would be a pretty holiday shadow, I think. I just personally am not really into like a greenish tone, but who knows? Maybe we'll test this out with another look um, just to see. The mascara, I think, works really good. Um, I can't complain about it. I just, again, I have used better ones, but it is a good mascara. And for it to be waterproof, I think that's really good. And then lastly, our Realer Lip Liners. Love. Like, it went on super creamy. Um, it shows up really good. It feels like it's going to stay put. Crazy kids. It feels like it's going to stay put. So, um, love. That is everything. Um, if y'all get BoxyCharm, let me know what y'all got in y'all's boxes. And if you tried any of these things, what you think about them. Because I'm pretty happy with what I got. Um, like I said, the skincare stuff. I'll have to wait and try that until after I have the baby just to be safe. Drop me a comment down below and let me know. Like I said, if y'all have tried any of this stuff. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and click that notification bell. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.